if you're new here, my name's Jackie. Spell with a Q, not a K. J-A-C-Q-I-E. In case you don't know, I've been messing with my lighting for like the last minute. Trying to get it. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Y'all, I don't know. Mm-mm. No, I don't know. Okay, Jackie, so All right. So today is going to be my attempt at simple but beautiful makeup. Well, now I don't know what I want to do. Ah! Do I have another one of these somewhere? I'm having trouble figuring out what I want to do. Because now it's like, ooh, I don't know. Ah! I have a hard time with simple, easy makeup. Okay. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm really having a rough time right now. There was another one somewhere. But then that I still have the same issue. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so yeah. Hi, my name's Jackie. Here we're going to do a, my version of a simple yet beautiful look. And I'm gonna try to keep it simple. <laughs> keep it simple, stupid. All right, but first we prime the eyes, cause I have to prime my eyes. If I don't, if I use like concealer to prime my eyes, I swear to God, my eyeshadow does not stay. I don't, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how other people do it. They just use concealer and it stays. I use concealer and it fades away in like two hours. It's like, hey, I was wearing makeup, where the hell did it go? And it doesn't matter on the brand of eyeshadow I use. Does it with high end? Does it with low end? Cause I tried it with the Natasha Denona and like even that didn't want to stay. I don't know, it was weird. But anyways, it's a whole nother, I don't even know. Okay, so to start off this simple, I'm quoting this, I don't know if it's gonna end up being simple to be completely honest with you because I am so bad at just simple looks. But to start this look off, I'm going to use what I use for uh, my contour, the Believe Beauty Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer in Sun Kissed Honey because it's a cooler tone and I kind of want to contour the eye a little bit. Yeah, nah. I don't, I'm like struggling between a couple of options. Like I'm wearing pink, so I'm thinking like pink eyeshadow. But like at the same time, I'm like, but like, that's not really gonna match <laughs> the crease, you know? So I'm like, shit, what do I do? I think I know what I'm gonna do though. Ooh, it's raining today. Boo, rain, but it's better than snow. So I'm gonna shut up. All right, all right, do a little bit in the outer corner as well. Just deepen the outer corner up a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna use this flat side real quick, just to pack it on. It's not overly pigmented, you know, for this type of deal. I mean, it works perfect for, you know, contouring your face. But when you want to really deepen it up, you got to pack it on a little bit, you know? I think you get it. You guys know, right? Let's kind of blend that out a little bit there. All right, you've gone too far. Okay. All right, I'm going to put a little on the bottom lash line as well. Just a little. All right, now I'm going to use this Lumi Bronze It Bronzer. I'm going to clean off this brush real quick on a little switchy thingy that's probably dirty and should be cleaned. 
I'm going to go into this bronze shade. And I'm going to add that to the crease. A little tiny bit of warmth. You know, we don't want to go too crazy. Add under the lash line. Boom, shaka laka. We're actually gonna kind of clean up this outer corner here. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now, we are gonna go on the lid with a. Uh, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Ritz. And it is beautiful. I will show you. Can you see how beautiful this is? OMG. Now wait till I put it on the eye because you're going to be like, dang, girl. That's the shiz. Okay. Stupid. Anyways. You see this? Holy shit, dude. Like, how oh, pretty is this? It's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah, this is what's a good choice, Jackie. Good choice. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely liking that choice. Can you see? I don't know. I don't know how this lighting is, guys. I'm just messing with lighting. Just trying to make things better. Maybe if I make things better, more people will watch and so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm gonna kind of clean up a little bit in here. What the hell? Okay. Got a couple sparkles right in the inner corner. Okay. Now it's just kind of. gonna curl the lashes after I clean this off because I'm not trying to ruin my beautiful eye look I just created in two minutes yana curl these beautiful lashes yeah y'all oh that's stuck great love it when that happens Love that. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. All right. Cool beans. Cool beans. Yeah, Jaggy. Cool beans. Lash Princess. Because I love this mascara. I hear the rain outside. Do you hear the rain outside? Ugh. So my kid was sick this week. He had a cold. So my nose is a little extra red because I have been in, having to wear a mask at my dad's because you know my son's sick and you know usually when your kid gets sick you get sick so to make sure my dad didn't get sick i haven't got sick yet but i usually do so it's probably coming i don't know but i wear a mask at my dad's to try to ah! not spread i just almost got that in my eyeball not spread the germs you know This is such a good mascara. It is lovely. Isn't she lovely? Sorry. Okay. I do my brows next. And I'm going to use this Brow Bar to Go by Gerard Cosmetics in Blonde to Brunette. Well, I don't know what fucking color I am right now. Blonde, brunette, purple, gray. I don't even know. And use a little bit of the wax just to put it through my brows. It helps the powder to stick a little bit. Yeah. 
we like that. We like the powder to stay in the brows. And I do find that powder is one of the quicker ways to do your brows. That or like a big, like the e.l.f. Uh, brow lift pencil, that's a quick way to do your brows as well. You know, just a big old brow pencil. I should probably pluck my brows, but I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna go into this darker shade because that's what shade I want to use. And we're just going to put it through my brows. You know? Brush it through. Look at how freaking fast that was, although I do need to add a little more in here. There we go. See? Brow. <laughs> Ta-da! Magic. Oh my goodness. Y'all, what have you been up to? Next week's Thanksgiving. Don't even get me freaking started. Alright, so quick, quick, quick question. Question. It's really, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you and then you guys can be you know, like, yeah, me too, or no, I feel this way. You know what I'm saying? You just interact with what I'm going to say. You know what I mean? Okay, so I have this weird thing that I do when I start, for those of you who do not know, you know, in case you're new here, hi, uh, my mom passed away in 2003, right after Christmas. So holidays, not my thing. Um, the brows, aren't they pretty? Okay, now we're going to do the face. And for my face, I'm going to use a concealer that's close to my skin tone. And I'm going to only hit the places that really need it. Like this pimple, the redness, and under my eyes. Stuff like that. Okay, now back to my story. It's not really a story, but... Um... So, yeah, me and, like, holidays, you know, we're not friends. Um, so, like, when I happen to, like, catch myself um, thinking about, like, a memory of her. Ooh, ah, this might not be good. <laughs> that didn't smell great. All right, so. All right. <sighs> what brush am I looking for? Okay, I'm just I'm gonna take this concealer brush and then I'm gonna flip it over and use the foundation side for the rest of the face. Okay. So when, if I catch myself like remembering stuff about her, I like start I'm like I start. I tell myself to like stop. I like make myself stop thinking. Does anybody else do that? Like I don't want to remember because it, it'll make me like sad. So I just stop myself from thinking. Like the other day I was I was uh, getting groceries because I get my dad's groceries every week and um See? Look at that. Great. Oh, yeah. We're not done yet. Um, boop. So, I was getting groceries and I saw a sweet potato and I started to remember, like, my mom making Thanksgiving dinner and she would always, like, make sweet potatoes, you know? And then, like, as soon as I started to remember that, I, like, was like, okay, I stopped myself from thinking about it and started thinking about something else. Like, I can't, I won't let myself go there. Know what I mean? 
Like I won't allow myself to think about things. I'm gonna put a little on my forehead too. So, anybody else like that? And then I was like, I re started remembering like, they were talking about like the parade and I was like, oh my God, I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch the parade while my mom would start. And then I was like, nope, stop it. Stop thinking about it. Don't think about it. It's like even the happy times, I don't want to think about it because it just makes me wish that she was here. You know what I'm saying? I know this is really depressing and you guys are probably like, Jaggy, fucking cheer up, okay, bitch? Sick of your nonsense. But like, I don't know. It's that time of year. It's just I have a, I have a hard time with it sometimes. Anywho. Anyways. So, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Alright. So, I'm going to put some of this Revolution bronzer. On, if I can open it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, open. Why is this so hard to open? It's like, it's because I'm worried I'm gonna like break a nail. <laughs> oh my god, I'm breaking it. Such a girl. God, what happened to me? <laughs> if you knew me back in the day, you'd be like, mm, yeah, what did happen to you, you weirdo? I'm kidding. I finally became a woman. <laughs> okay, stop talking. Anyways, so that's just my... Anybody else ever? No? Just me? Alright. So, I'm using the bronzer. And I'm using it with a foundation brush. This is a great brush for, like, cream bronzer, you know. In case you were wondering. Because you're like, what the hell are you doing, Jaggy? Jaggy, that's a foundation brush. Why not? I know what I'm doing. Bitch, please. No, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you that. <laughs> Any who's... Oh, my freaking battery's gonna die. Okay, hang on. I gotta change my battery and I'll be back. And we're back. Okay, back to what we were doing. So, I forgot what I was talking about before it went off, so. Lucky you. Don't have to hear my nonsense anymore. It smells so... What does that smell? I don't know what that smell is. Oh! Alright, now we're gonna take something. Where's that? I'm gonna take this brush and just kinda... blend. This was the one we used with the concealer. Make sure it's all nice and blended together. Yes. Right. See? It's so freaking simple, right? Right? Right. Okay. Anywho's. Anywho's. And it's like not, I don't even need to powder my face, you know? Even with that cream bronzer. Like, it doesn't feel sticky or anything. So I can just go straight in with a blush. Which is totally cool. Alright, I'm going to use... I love this freaking blush. I didn't think I was going to love it this much, but I freaking love it. Because it's like a brown tone blush, but it like... When you put it on, it's a brown, but it's also a warm, so it looks... I don't know how to explain it, y'all. This is a magical blush. It is 20 Bespoke by Essence the Blush. This color is fucking amazing. I didn't have to swear. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, Jackie. Hey, hey, excuse me. I'd like a brush, please. Shoot. Ah, shit. All this crap I probably should just get rid of. Okay. Anywho. Moving on. See? It's brown, but it's like warm brown. So it still looks like you're a little flush. You know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe you guys are like, you're fucking crazy. I should probably powder my under eyes though. Huh. That would be smart, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Isn't that 
fucking pretty. All right, I do need to powder my other eyes because otherwise it's going to be a hot mess. I'm going to take this little powder poofy, this poofy powder poof, poof. Mm -hmm. We're going to use this wet and wild powder and gonna drop it in the powder. So I have way too much powder. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. All right, let's see, and then we're going to blend out any creasing. Under the eye, like so. Oh my gosh, amazing. Whoa, we almost did that wrong. <laughs> I almost took the puff or the brush and put it in the powder instead of the puff. Anyways, y'all are like, yeah, we don't care, do you? Just get, get it over with. Whoa. Oh yeah. Okay. There. That I like. Okay, that's better. Better, better. All right. Definitely looks better. Okay. So, we have all that done. And now we need a highlighter, which I'm actually going to use a powder that is kind of highlighter-ish. Soon as I find it. Jesus. <laughs> Oh shit! Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna take this. It is Physicians Formula. It is a butter glow pressed powder. But like, if you concentrate it in one area, it kind of gives a like highlight like glow. I can't open anything, y'all. <laughs> highlight like glow from within type of situation. Okay, so we're just gonna get this hair off me. <laughs> All right, I'm losing my damn mind. I'm gonna clean out this little whoops brush. Yep, I'm moving things around. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Screw it. We're just gonna set that right there. Okay, we're gonna fix the mirror now so I can see what I'm doing. James, I shrunk a little. So I'm just gonna take this brush, this this I don't know what the hell is this setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm just gonna go right in here, and if you watch, look at it. Do you see that? Just a hint of glow. Can you see it? Do you see a di- Oh, shit. Can you see a difference? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I can. Can you? I don't know because I'm kind of glowy over here, but like I'm glowy-er over here. Know what I mean? Anyways, we're gonna, yeah. <clears throat> we're just gonna do it, you know? We're gonna do a little here, right above the little archie of the brow. And of course, we go down the nose. We're gonna highlight everywhere like you would with any regular highlight. It's just gonna be more of a subtle highlight. So it's not as like, ba bam! You know what I'm saying? It smells so good too. Mm. Anyways, okay, so there's that. <laughs> Amy. Okay. There is that. Now we're going to set the face. I'm going to use this Hydrate and Fix Radiance Makeup Fixing Spray from Makeup Revolution. And I'm just going to spray my face. Because even though we didn't really use a ton of like powder and stuff we did use some like the bronzer and stuff so we or not the bronzer like the blush and stuff so we want that to settle in settle in i'm gonna take his little poofy just gonna push in on a couple of spots that may have gotten a little too much setting spray. There we go. Anyways, so there's that. Now we're gonna finish the eyes by adding mascara. I'm 
gonna use the Lash Paradise on the bottom today. Oh, I'm feeling brave. So we're gonna throw some of this on. We're gonna let that sit for a second while we do our lips and then hopefully I remember this time, I didn't remember in one of the past videos I just did, to put on this liner on the bottom waterline once this has dried a little bit because we don't want to smooge it. We don't want to smooge it. All right, so let's do a lip, which I'm going to, <laughs> question mark, question mark. I have no freaking idea what I'm going to do for my lips. So, you figure that out and I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, great. Mm, that thing burns, you know, not burning. You know, I think I have a lip liner that kind of goes with this. Oh, screw it. All right, I'm going to use whatever the hell this one is. This, I don't, nude. <laughs> I'm going to use nude from Gerard Cosmetics. Let's do a little lining. doesn't look right, does it? Ugh. There we go. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I see lines differently. <laughs> don't ask. Okay. Oh, by the way, we're using, this is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Chocolate. That is what we're putting on our lips. It smells minty. Wonder why. I don't think this is overly plumping or plumping at all, really. I mean, it's minty, so I think that's why they threw in the plumping claim because you can feel like a little bit of tingle from the mint. But like, it doesn't actually plump. It just feels a little tingly. So they're like, let's let's say it's plumping. They'll feel it'll feel like it's plumping, but it really doesn't do shit. Sorry, Elf. Didn't mean to be an honest creator and call you out. Sorry, I seen some crap. I seen. I'm gonna put this on now. Uh, Michaela Neguera, ne no, whatever, I don't know how to say her other name. Anyways, Michaela, the stupid TikToker who's a freaking liar. About mascara that is actually good, but whatever. Don't even get me started. And that ain't the only thing she's lied about either. But anyways, moving on. I saw she had a collab with P. Louise and I was like, why are companies collabing with this person? It makes me so mad when dishonest, lying, douchebag creators get all the this sponsorships and collabs and brand trips and like you're rewarding them for being freaking liars. They're liars and they've been caught lying. Even people are really starting, although it's not slowing anyone down, to say that they don't trust these brands that are collabing with her anymore. 
because she's been caught lying so many damn times. But whatever. I don't know. Sorry. I just can't. I can't be that freaking. I can't. It makes me mad because I feel like us honest. Yes, us. I'm putting myself in there because I'm, I'm an honest creator. I'll tell you how I feel. And I don't hype up shit that sucks. Anyways, um, we, we don't, we don't even get noticed and people like her are way up here with millions and millions of dollars that they don't deserve because we're a bunch of fucking liars and it makes me feel like being honest and truthful, truthful and honest are the same thing, Jackie, um, it just feels like is, is, should I be a lie? I can't do it though. This, I can't do it. I can't lie. Ask my husband, man. I can't, I can't lie. I just, I can't, I don't know why. Like, well, I mean, it's a good thing, right? But anyways, it's kind of makes you feel like if you were a liar, maybe you'd get further. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just, just, just a thought. Anyways. Sorry about all these rants, man. I suck at life, dude. But I'm sorry. I'm an honest. You're going to get how I'm feeling in every video. So if I'm having a rough day, I'm going to let you know. I like to tell you guys what's going on with me and how I'm feeling, you know? It's just who I am. I'm, I'm a genuine person and I don't make shit up for views because clearly I ain't getting them anyways. <laughs> I couldn't make shit up if I tried. But anyways, so yeah. Alright. Sorry if you if, if if this was an annoying video, let me know in the comments. I will try better not to rant in future. I'll try. I can't promise, but I'll try. So yeah. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you have things to say, hit the like button and leave a comment. And if you've made it to the end of this video, which maybe you did, it wasn't, I don't think it was too long, um, and you enjoyed this quick makeup look, as quick as I can do, <laughs> um, subscribe and uh, come back and watch other videos because that'd be great. It would help me out a lot. And yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy this look and you find it simple, easy, and you're capable of doing it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.